Dory? Is that the kind of fish Dory is? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a fish scientist. I'm not a fish Scientologist. Come on. Get out of here. Okay, so this one, this is my favorite from yesterday. This is sick. I might keep this. <laughs> Yo, 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 what is up guys? It is I, Chulo, back at it with another video. It's been a while, I know. It's getting a lot harder to film in the thrifts. So I was originally just gonna go over stuff that I found, which I still probably will do, go over like the best stuff that I'm picking up. But every once in a while, I'm gonna do little vlogs that will probably include some trips to the thrifts, but it's gonna be a lot more regular kind of life stuff of what we're doing, taking pictures, processing stuff, posting on Instagram, all that good stuff. But yeah, so we're today we're just gonna go to the Goodwill and maybe a couple other little spots in town. We'll go over all of that, show you what we got. We'll wash it, write down the prices and all of that. That's what I kind of con consider processing. And then get it all folded and into a stack and then we'll kind of go over some of the cool stuff that I found. We're gonna be heading out here in a moment and I'll we'll check back in in a second. All right, peace out, love y'all. Combat pants, super sick. This one I'm undecided about. It's for the Oregon Coast Aquarium. Mm -hmm. Super sick. I'm gonna pass on it. Actually, so I got a bunch of these. Like, they're all relatively vintage. Shirts from Hawaii. This one's gonna go like the color. They all have really cool big bat graphics, which I like the most. This one's super sick. So we got, we got this one. We got this one. It has this union hit on the front. 
Which is one of my favorite fruit of Look at the back of that. Super cotton. I'm shaking so bad. Then I found three. These are all the same. Three made in USA, Rothko, just blank olive shirts. Super sick. This Bayside Union shirt. The back is the coolest, coolest on the waterfront. Waterfront, I can't speak. Boom. Bayside made in USA. This one's pretty cool. It's on the hands, beefy. It's an ahi tuna. It's cool blue. Big old tuna fish on the back. This one is my favorite though. Check that out. Combined Forces. US Navy. Asiatic feet. Super sick. This one is probably cool. one of the cooler ones too. This one is single stitch. I feel like someone either had like a screen printing business in Hawaii and they moved and they brought all their like old stock. Cause this is, I found it all today. And it has a date on it, 1980 Hawaii, but still cool. This is cool little Kagan design. Big back hit as well. Boom, and a little sleeve hit too. Super cool for all my Kagans out there. <laughs> Got this Guinness white t-shirt. Guinness chair. Forsman made me a focus ranch. San Francisco SS Jeremiah O'Brien is embroidered. Nothing on the back of that one. And I got two of these made in USA JC Penny, just white shirts. Mm -hmm. I might dye them or do them for a project. But, um, I don't even want four bucks. I'm so excited. This thing just did you too dope. Yeah, I might get them. Might as well. Went in on it. This one's put on the hands. These are made in USA. It says NEC. NEC Project 1990. This one. It's just a blank. I've actually had the past one a couple times, but I think I'm gonna get it this time. And then this one I just came up on. The tag is kind of falling out, but it's the pennies. Yo, all right, what's up, guys? We're back, and we are just gonna do some laundry. And because I wash everything that I buy, if I can, if it's hand wash or dry clean, I will do the appropriate things, um, steam them or whatever I gotta do. But yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff to go over. Boom, boom. And what I do is I just kind of, I'll go, I write, I write down the price that I, I pay, and then I cut the tags off, obviously, wash them, dry them, and then I go over them with you. I'll go over them with you guys. Yeah, whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna do just a time lapse video of me doing all this. Kind of show you guys some cool stuff real quick. Like, I got this from that estate sale at the Masonic Temple. I thought this was pretty cool. It's not made in USA, made in Dominican Republic, which it technically is the USA. <laughs> this one though is pretty dope. I'm pretty sure this is made in USA. It's a local 791 Labor's International Union hat. Yeah, made in USA. Super sick. Um, got that juice DVD. Yeah, whole bunch of stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll do time lapse and then we'll show you all. All right, check back in a moment. Peace.
what's up guys so yeah it's the next day um i got everything washed and folded and now we are gonna go over it i'm gonna show you just all the stuff we got yesterday it's quite a bit mm. got me mate oh it's the best stuff i made ice mate today peppermint mate and then i add some lemon to it and put it over ice phenomenal phenomenal but yeah so what's up guys i know i haven't been doing videos in a while I've just been thrifting a lot. I literally have so much stuff, it's overwhelming. I've just been going crazy. So let's not delay, let's get right into it. Let's start off with the only bottoms that I got. I manifested these, but I've been really been wanting a nice pair of Woodland Camo Army Pants, BDU Pants, whatever you want to call them. These are medium regular size. They are 29 and a half to 32 and a half inches inseam. The waist is 31 to 35 inches, so it's my size. It is actually for the like real legit Army issued has the NATO number and a NATO size, or just NATO size. Made in USA, proper international, incorporated. Check it out, boom. And they're nice, I thought, I wish they would've been the Gore-Tex ones, they would be sick, but they have the nice drawstrings at the bottom, and then they're like a nice rip stock material. They're sick, like look at those. <laughs> I'm pretty stoked. I'm gonna keep these probably, to be honest. I've been wanting a pair of these. So moving on, we're gonna dig into these t-shirts. So the first one, I'm gonna try not to unfold. First one is this, boom, we got this Bulldog Lover on the Fruit of the Loom best tag. Made in El Salvador. Great D6, see that, boom. But it has this super sick graphic. Bulldog Lover, loyal, powerful, and good natured. Copyright 1998. I love when there's dates, makes my life easy. Super sick. The next one is this. Just plain, it only has this front embroidery, but it is on the Oarsman Made in USA tag, and it's for the SS Jeremiah O'Brien, San Francisco, California. Check it out, nice embroidery, super sick. I'm stoked on this. Okay, moving on. So this one is no graphic, but I thought it was dope, so I grabbed it and doubled up on them too. There's two of them. I got this large, JC Penny made in USA, just blank white tee. Though vintage, I might dye it, that's what I was thinking, which would be pretty cool. I got into dyeing, I dyed some pants. Follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen them. Follow me on Instagram, it's linked down in the description. As above, so chulo. But yeah, single stitch, which is sick. So I got two of them. <laughs> so not gonna show you the second one, same thing. And this one is not too crazy. I'd say it's like Y2K off of this tag. It's assembled in Mexico, USA fabric, and it's for local motion. It's a Hawaiian surf company. Has this big hit on the back. Surfboard's a little, but it's kind of fading and kind of peeling off, but I think it looks cool. And this nice white tee has the sleeve hit as well. And then it has, I just like the fit of it really too. It has a nice fit. Mm. This one is sick. So I looked this one up and it just has this front hit. The tag's missing. I'd say it's like a size XL, which is the best size. And it's for the conch or conch, however you say it, Republic, which is apparently a, uh, it was a different country. It's a part of Key West, Florida, the Keys, and they successfully, according to them, seceded from the United States of America and then formed the Conch Republic. But there was a whole fiasco or something. It was crazy. Google it and read about it. Moving on. So we got this last white tee is this Guinness t-shirt with a Guinness tag. And it is, I'm pretty sure it is an Anvil shirt made in El Salvador, size large, but super sick. Just simple Guinness center chest logo. Pretty cool. Boom. Extra stout. Then we got this one. Now we're getting on to some of the cooler ones. This was the first one I found when I went yesterday. So this Fathom 5 Divers. And it's on my favorite, personal favorite, Gildan Ultra Cotton Tag. It will go with my shoes, my blazers. Super sick shirt. I am stoked on that one. Has a, this is a Nemo or kind of Nemo-like fish. No, that's not Nemo, that's not a clown fish. It's a Dory. Is that the kind of fish Dory is? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a fish scientist. I'm not a fish scientologist. Come on. Get out of here. Okay, so this one, this is my favorite from yesterday. This is sick, I might keep this. <laughs> like every shirt that I'm talking about. This one is sick. It has, I gotta yeah, do it justice. Has this sick yin yang hit with the kanji. But look at that, super sick. And it's on this beautiful, this is one of my favorite tags too, the Fruit of the Loom Super Cotton tag made in Honduras of US, Honduras of USA components. So I would say it's like 19, no, there's a date on it. 2000 is when it was printed at least. So boom, right at the vintage level there. And then the back is the best. Check that out. Big yin yang with the dragon. Has the 2000 date and the licensing down there. It's from Fortune Designs Collection. I should look that up. 
and it has some Hawaiian, so Hawaii pipeline, sunset beach, something else bay. Super sick though, look at that. I love this. It's like a surfing shirt. Like I feel like if you would see, like replace this with like a Stussy S or something, a Stussy symbol, you know what I'm saying? Like that has the surf style, skate style, and it's this nice, just big, beefy tee, the forest green. Like, come on, it doesn't get any better than that. It doesn't get any better than that, guys. It's not single stitch or anything, but single stitch doesn't always denote vintage, especially at this point in time. Because this is 2000, so this is 21 years old, so that's vintage. And it's double stitch everywhere, you know? Maybe be up on my Depop at some point, but I'm gonna hold on to it for a while. I got this earlier too. I didn't get this yesterday because you didn't see it in the video. This was earlier in the week. This one is on a made in El Salvador of USA fabric all style. So early 2000s. And it's just a Reno embroidered. Kind of looks like a PlayStation logo in my opinion, but it's the cards stuff. And it's a really nice embroidery. Look how thick that is. How thick. A super sick, nice red color, nice big boxy fit in my opinion. Not single stitch again, but definitely vintage. Moving on, so this one I doubled up on. I don't know where the second one is at, but it's a Rothko, made in USA, just blank military, kind of like olive basic tee, but it's super sick. Single stitch is not what it is. It's not single stitch, but it's super sick. I would say this is definitely early 2000s, late 90s, late 90s, early 2000s, somewhere around there. Moving on, this next one, super sick, gotta unfold it, is on the bay side, made in USA, heavyweight, pre-shrunk, large, 100% cotton, boom. It's for the ILWU, which I think is the International Labor Workers Union. Nailed it. it. Says today's strength through yesterday's struggle, 1934 to 2005, so that's the date on this bad boy. On the waterfront, International Labor Workers Union, Bloody Thursday, July 5th, 1934. I haven't looked that up yet, but it sounds crazy. And it has this crazy little, has more union labels down there. Moving on, next one is on the Haynes Heavyweight. This is like 90s, early 2000s. And it's this pagan design. It has a nice, cool design right there, the chest hit, and then the back hit is the best. Look at that, if you're into that kind of stuff, I think it's cool. It kind of has like chrome hearts, it has this cool symbol. I remember, forget what this is. It has to do with the Trinity, same concept. The Trinity you will see in so many different forms, it's crazy. But yeah, that's why I like this shirt. It's cool. I might keep this one as well, like every other shirt. Chrome hearts vibes. I have to say chrome hearts vibes for sure on this. This is sick, with that big back hit. Do you guys see anything that you are interested in? Hit me up and we can work something out. DM me on Instagram, as above, so chulo, before this stuff gets posted. It usually takes me a little while to post the newer stuff. I have like the death pile from hell. I have like a death mountain. So we're moving on past this shirt. This one is really cool as well. So we got this mid 2000s, early 2000s silver tag nike with this like laser cut or embossed whatever you want to call it i am not a fabric scientist but yeah super sick has the piping going down the sleeves that's what it's called piping so this is a piping nike short sleeve t-shirt orange mesh super cool i like it with that center hit i feel like supreme would do something like that collaboration and then they would just put like supreme on the back you know, think about it. This one is probably my favorite. I think I've said that about a couple, but this is super sick. Boom. This beautiful light blue color. It's on the nice Hanes beefy, size large. Fabric made in USA, assembled in Mexico. And it says, combined forces, US Navy, Asiatic fleet, 1910 to 1942. Has the dragon on the front with some like Japanese writing and the dragon. <laughs> You have CFUSNAF Memorial Reading in Washington, D.C., August 20th through 24th, 1997. So it's vintage. So these tags are at least 1997. <laughs> Remember that. Commit that to memory. It's not single stitch. It's still vintage though, but this is sick. This one's really cool as well. It's this beautiful like royal blue-ish color. And it is on the early 90s Hanes Beefy Made in USA tag. And this one for sure is single stitch. Boom. Single stitch on the sleeves. Single stitch on the bottom hem. Just has this front like line going across. The white doesn't really cover it up because it's a dark shirt and white's really hard to print on stuff. But 
it says NEC, and then on the back it says NEC, and it has continents, and it says NEC Optical Submarine Cable System, MPC Project 1990, pretty sick. So that's, yeah, so early 90s, I was right, I nailed that. <laughs> So you know this tag is at least early 90s. Now you know. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so weird. We're getting through there. We have like another like five shirts or so. Oh no. The stack was coming down. Next, this one is sick. I found this earlier in the week as well. And it is this just beautiful Mariners t-shirt. Really heavy cotton. It's on the late 90s, early 2000s, Majestic Made Mexico tag. Just very nice shirt. It's for, uh, I can't remember his first name, but Olorud. I probably butchered that last name. Super sick shirt, nice long sleeves. Has the, not obviously long, but longer short sleeves. And it has the Seattle Mariners hit right there with that logo, the, the modern logo. Boom. I just love this. This really, really heavyweight cotton. Beautiful shirt. His name is right on the tip of my tongue. Oh man, I can't think of it. This one that is North Carolina. It's on a champs tag. Made in Mexico of USA fabric. Really cool. That Carolina stuff is always good. I have a nice North Carolina Tar Heels jacket over there. Pretty sick. This one is like one of my favorites. This one is on the Crazy Shirts Hawaii tag, which is a t-shirt company. T -t Today, Junior! From Hawaii, it's pretty rad actually. And this is, ah, what is her name? Bee Clippin, uh, she does like cat art. And this one is the Sumo Cat, <laughs> which I just think is really cool. And this color of the shirt, it's like a nice teal. Single stitch as well, boom. Yeah, 1980, so this is 1980. That's always, I love when there's dates. And it has this little crazy shirt logo at the bottom. It's really cool. This one, this is one day I went and I didn't find anything else, but I saw the sleeve sticking out. The sleeve never deceives. Got that from Paul Cantu. In reality, it doesn't. Like once you learn what you're looking for and stuff, you can kind of spot these things. I saw this just poking out of the sports section. Had this sleeve just hanging out. I was like, hmm, what's that? Hmm, what's that? And I went and grabbed it and it was this sick Denver Broncos logo seven made in USA. Uh, single stitch like 80s I believe just very sick with these longer sleeves it's like a jersey with the old Broncos logo uh, it's kind of peeling and stuff but it's still super sick I love this really cool okay moving on this is the last one for today I'm gonna make more videos of stuff that I found and we're just gonna show you the top stuff that I found because I've found a lot that I haven't made videos for because obviously it's been like a couple months. I go every day pretty much, so I have lots of stuff. So this one is another one on the Hanes Beefy, boom. Another Hawaiian shirt, it's Aki Hawaii. So Aki Tuna Hawaii, boom, in this nice blue color. I like these shirts, they're really cool. Boom, the graphic, it has a nice cracking to it. I love that. I think it's just a very, very cool shirt. So yeah, that's it, I believe. Oh man, I should show you guys. Yeah, I should go show you guys something else. Hold on, so. I manifested this too. Kind of. I didn't get it at the thrifts. I did get it like a vintage place. It's kind of the ones where they have like booths and they sell a lot of more like older true vintage stuff. And it was this just super sick varsity jacket or let Letterman, whatever you want to call it for Jeff. Thank you, Jeff, for this jacket. I can't figure, I think it might be like David Douglas High School, which is in Portland. 80, this would have been the year that they graduated, 1980. They played foosball, that's foosball right there. Nothing on the back, but the leather is in really good condition. There's some minor distressing, and some like there's some on the sleeves, some tears and stuff. There's a hole somewhere. Oh yeah, there's like a hole in the back of the neck, kinda. But I like it. I mean, it's in my opinion, this is like the best condition I've seen in that type of store. And it's not all yellowed, doesn't smell terrible. I steamed it and cleaned it. Got it all tip top shape. And it's just, I'm stoked on this. I might take a couple pictures in it, wear it a little bit, and I might put it on my grail because that's more of that market. But this is sick. Oh yeah, I'm stoked on this. I should probably show you guys it on for Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, hold on. Let's take this short coat off. I don't know how it's gonna look with the red hoodie underneath. It'll probably look all right. This is my Jordan hoodie that I got from the Nike store for like 10 bucks. I love the Nike outlets. <laughs> but yeah, see, it fits me good. Size large, 42, which is large. They fit cropped. I'm a little too close, I imagine. So they, they fit cropped, but I think this one fits perfect. In my opinion, super thick. Yeah, that's actually, I should've worn this today. The chore cut looked good too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe we'll just wear this for the rest of the video. I'm stoked on you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure that you like and subscribe if you're interested in that. If you want to, do it. If you want to spread that love and you want to 
really help me get these videos out there to other people it would do a lot if you did like and subscribe and all that stuff follow me on instagram that would be rad as well thank you guys so much i appreciate the support even throughout me not posting that much thank you guys so much like and subscribe i will post a new video hopefully in a week or so all right i'm gonna try to do it weekly see you show you on my thrifting peanuts bargain he's saying goodbye all right love y'all peace out bye